make sure. Okay, I'm with Adam Debman. First league game of the season, three points. Um, probably made it a little bit harder than it should have been. Uh, we missed a fair few chances. Ollie, on, on the other hand, only had one save to make. What did you make of the game? Off, to be honest, for the first half, we were really, really good. We, we, you know, we, we put a message out to the players first ten minutes. You know, nervous energy first game of the season. Everyone buzzes it up, but you still get three points for today, as you do any other stage. So, for the season. So, at the end of the day, look, the positives are three points. The positives are a clean sheet. The positives are we create numerous chances in the first half. But you know, what I think we got out of the game as well is it's there for the players to see straight away what happens if we don't take chances like you know if we don't bury teams three or four we're gonna early doors we're gonna be in a battle for 90 minutes yeah. and that's and that's and that's and that's what happened today and um, that's not a bad thing because at the end of the day you're still on the back end of pre-season so you, you know you're, you're still fitness levels you have still got a little bit of room left in and um, that, that would have helped today but at the end of the day three points chances created you know, on to Tuesday. When you look at it, um, we had eight teenagers in the squad, yep. six in the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. Obviously, an injury to Dino at half time meant that at one stage we had seven or more, or seven under 19 or under 18 on there, mm. which has got to be the way forward. Absolutely, and do you know what? Do you know what's really pleasing is that was when you have loads of youngsters on like that, to, to, to manage them last 20 minutes. You know, where we didn't rush to take throw-ins, we didn't rush to take our free kicks or anything. We, 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 we managed the game really, really well. And when you've got that many youngsters on the pitch, that's, that's quite impressive because you can, you can easily lose track and kick and rush, kick and rush. They wanted the game to be 100 miles an hour the last 20 minutes because they had to get back into it. Yeah. You know, and with seven youngsters on the field, we were still clever enough and cute enough to, you know, not keep the game at that pace, to slow the game down. They managed it really, really well. And they've got a lot of ability as well. Yeah, and as you say, when you look at the players we had out there, I mean, young Rio came in, it was his debut. I thought mm -hmm. he was excellent, yep. uh, apart from one little Silly book blow up. Book. Yep. Silly book um, again, Ollie, another what, 18, 19 year old, his debut, mm -hmm. did really well. Energy levels are phenomenal. I think he mm. flagged towards the last 10, but that's given fine. the heat, that's fair enough. Yep. Uh, guy came on at centre half, didn't put a foot wrong. So all yep. the youngsters, that were out there did well. Sam Johnson got man of the match. Mm -hmm. Possibly a little bit surprising that we took him off when we did. What was the thoughts behind um, that? I think the, the thing behind that was that we could see that for about 10 minutes or so they'd really got back into the game. Um, and I think maybe looking at it, we probably felt that having a bit of physicality in there to actually win challenges, to win the ball back so we could start trying to control okay. and ease the last 20 minutes out by having a bit more you know, of a physical threat there. But uh, what I would say about Sam is I've gone full circle on him this last month or so because I thought originally when I first saw him, I thought, just not going to have the physicality to play. But do you know what? He's got so much technical ability and he will leave one in on people as well. Like he's, I've, I've, he's impressed me so much the last few weeks. Yeah, for a kid of his height yeah. and stature, yeah. uh, he, he doesn't mind a challenge. No, and no. as you say, he's one that's pretty much over the last two weeks gone from being uh, maybe on the bench Oh, to, he's gone to a star, gone through the roof, and he's been yeah. superb. Yeah. Um, another change we made was bringing on Rob Hendry for Matty Alletta. Mm -hmm. Thoughts that we might have done that a little earlier. I mean, Matty seemed to be flagging last sort of, twenty or it so. Was, yeah. I mean, we. I spoke to Lonnie at half time that if if we didn't have any false changes, it would be a change that looks quite a natural one to have. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. In theory, we could have. I think what we was trying to do. Certainly to begin with, obviously Matty Oletta was scaring that left back all over the place. Yes. And when that left back went off, maybe we could have done it a touch earlier. But the thing about Robbie as well was, when it started to get a little bit nervy, because we haven't killed the game, bringing the, bring, I mean, he's got a wonderful left foot. Oh God, yeah. The, the, yeah. Set, so what? The, set, the set piece angle, that if we're struggling to get hold of the ball, and we're not creating the chances, and he is getting a little bit nervous, that the last 20 minutes or so when he's on, we have got the set piece angle now to try and kill it because you know the delivery will be yeah. one. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe could have done it a little bit earlier. But. Okay. Um, when you look at the bench, a little mm. bit of a different dynamic today, just mm. yourself and Donny on there. Obviously yeah. the gaffer was serving his, his one game suspension. Mm -hmm. We get three points. Mm. Is there a call for it not to be changed? Do we leave him in the? <laughs> do we leave him on the PA? That is the question. It needs answering. You, you tell you what, you have that chat. I'm sitting on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Plead the fifth. No, um, no. What I said was when I when I, when I had this chat with Darren and Donny about coming back here um, for the season, and the three of us. Said, what I said was that if there was ever in you know like the, 
um, pro professional employed to be on take my accountancy exam. So there's going to be one or two training sessions or Saturdays that I won't make. Yeah. But it, what it means is that the three of us together who get on so well and we bounce ideas off, but when one of us can't make it, you're still going to have two men down there. Yeah. So, you know, okay, he was suspended today, he's up there. But, you know, I know this season as well, he wants to start looking at actually watching the game from the other side of the pitch, getting other angles. Because when you're in a dugout, you're only seeing, you know, yeah. you're only really communicating closely with people your side. Yeah. So if he, you know, if he does want to go down the route of actually being the other side of the pitch a little bit more, I know that's, that's, that, that's his idea and it's a good one if that's what he wants to do. So, you know, it, it'll work. Whatever he wants to do, he'll do. Keeps him out of trouble as well. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much, Adam. It's uh, been insightful as always and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up no in the next few weeks. Yeah, absolutely.